Hello, welcome to today's lesson on naming acids and bases. The question of the day, what is the name of the ion that makes a compound a base? Okay, so we know that bases are ionic, so that makes this naming very easy, which is fantastic for us because who needs another naming system? Um, so all of these things are just going to be ionic and they're bonded to hydroxide. So you name it the same way you name ionic compounds. I will link that video in the description of this video. Um, so what you're gonna do is name the metal. And then just remember that if it's a transition metal, it may require a Roman numeral. So be on the lookout for that, but they're all gonna be some metal and then hydroxide. So that would be lithium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, um, iron three hydroxide, something along those lines. Now naming acids is a bit more complex, but it's not so bad. So this naming acids is gonna focus on the anion in the compound. So when we're naming a binary acid made of just two elements and you'd have the anion like fluoride, sulfide, chloride, you're gonna take this formula right here where you put the hydro in front, you have the non-metal prefix, stick an ick on the end and then call it an acid. So that would be something like hydrochloric acid for HCl. HF would be hydrofluoric acid. Pretty simple. But if we're naming acids that have the anion as a polyatomic ion, then there's just a few more steps. So we're gonna take a look at that polyatomic ion and figure out its name. If that poly's name ends in eight, A-T-E, then we're going to give the acid a new ending, ick. If the poly's ending is it, it is going to get a new ending, o-u-s, us. So HNO3 has the poly nitrate, NO3 is nitrate, and that would be translated when it's an acid into nitric acid. HNO2 is nitrite, right? NO2 is nitrite. So that acid, the ite is gonna drop and you're gonna put the OUS ending on it. So that would become nitrous acid. All right, here are some names and formulas just for you to see how it kind of works out. So um, notice here that the acids are all labeled acid, but the bases are not labeled base. Um, bases are just metal hydroxide. Maybe you need a Roman numeral. In these two examples, you don't because lithium and calcium are representative metals. They come from group one and two. Um, but the acids are always going to indicate that they are an acid. Now, this prefix hydro is only for binary acids. So hydrochloric acid tells you it's hydrogen bonded to a single chloride ion. On the contrary, chloric acid lacking the hydro tells you that this is coming from a poly. And the ick is connected to eight. Ick and eight. I ate something icky. Um, so this ick tells you that you have a hydrogen bonded to a chlorate, and that's how you would get the formula HClO3. Now, moving on, we have, um, where is it here? 11, HClO2, this is chlorous acid, so that tells us that we are working with um, an ite poly. Again, lacking the hydro telling you that it has to come from a poly. So that would be um, hydrogen bonded to chlorite. All right, this will get easier with practice. So please make sure to do any of the practice problems that your teacher assigns you, because that is how you're gonna get the best out of this. You also could just take these questions here, cover up half of them and go back and forth, especially if you leave some time in between. Um, you probably won't memorize the answers. <laughs> All right, please subscribe so you don't miss the next lesson. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.